Hi everyone, welcome to another Journal Club presentation where we highlight papers of interest. Today we focus on a paper titled, Occupational Exposures and Risks of Non-Hodgkin Lymphoma, a meta-analysis, published in Cancers, March 2023 Non-Hodgkin Lymphomas NHL, which are a group of diseases that arise from malignant lymphocytes and their precursors. The paper highlights that NHL is a significant public health concern, with a high incidence rate worldwide. The etiology of most NHLs is unknown, but risk factors include immune deficiencies, viruses, bacteria, radiation, and chemicals such as benzene, persistent organic pollutants, and pesticides. The paper aims to evaluate the association between occupational exposure to chemical agents and the risk of developing NHL by conducting a systematic review and meta-analysis of observational epidemiological studies. The paper used a systematic review and meta-analysis methodology to evaluate the association between occupational exposure to chemical agents and the risk of developing non-Hodgkin lymphoma. The authors collected articles published between 2000 and 2020 and used the Rayon QCRI web app for blind selection of studies. The selected articles were then analyzed using the REDCap platform. The review protocol was registered in the Prospero database ID, CRD 42020160291, and the paper followed the guidelines specified by Prisma for systematic reviews and meta-analyses. The paper concludes that there is evidence supporting the association between occupational chemical exposure and the risk of developing non-Hodgkin lymphoma. The risk of NHL increases for individuals occupationally exposed to chemical agents, mainly pesticides, benzene, and trichloroethylene, as well as for certain work classes, primarily for occupations in agriculture. However, there is still insufficient data on the association between NHL and specific chemical compounds. The findings may provide information for public health and practical decision-making about certain work activities and the use of chemical compounds. Furthermore, future mechanistic studies, measuring exposures, and evaluating the biological and molecular effects associated with the risk of NHL are still needed. The link to the full text is in the video description. Thank you for watching and please hit the like button if you enjoyed watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.